way down. Left of that yellow tree, or no, well. Oh, baby! gun felt smooth going off just then. We burned some gunpowder in the, in the frost. Thank you, drone. I had the easy job this morning. You had the hard job. Ooh, shaking. I wasn't shaking when he first come in because there was actually two really good bucks and it was hard to tell which one was the most mature. I'm looking to make sure he's not standing, but I think it walloped him pretty good. Whew. Holton deer hunts. This place is amazing. Beautiful country. Big bucks everywhere. I'm very blessed to be here this morning. Very blessed to have your help too, Jerome. Normally I'm having to film myself and we split up and we... <laughs> It makes it a whole lot easier when I count on a good good man behind the camera that knows what he's doing. Oh, I'm gonna need a minute to cool off. Even though it's 30 degrees outside. Paul's in the box stand filming from over there. He's super guy. He's also super cameraman too. Feel good? Yeah. Awesome. Just fall. Wasn't that easy? That's legit fall. <laughs> That's a big <gasps> deer. He's a very good deer. Yeah. Woo! There's three shooters. Yeah. I accident I accidentally stopped him with that other one right behind him the first time. And then I didn't want to he shoot was, and then when he walked he off. He was a that. little bit in some brush when you shot. Yeah. But I got the, I followed him the whole time watching him fall. Awesome, because he got out of sight before he fell. Oh, I got him falling. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Can you refill my cup? Yeah. Don't worry. I told I told everybody you were a super guy. I said, you super cameraman, too, over there in the box stand. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's my favorite scene after you shoot a deer from look growing at, up so you run through that look at the blood over there from growing up hunting a pipeline in louisiana when you're little you shoot them and you never know exactly where they were and we didn't have range finders back then and so you look for that long spray that's how you found them look at that <clears throat> that sucker was opened up yeah late. this would be easy tracking for sure <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know how he coated it this, even this far. Here we go, drone! <sighs> You're in the cactus, just saying. I got enough layers on. Beautiful Texas 10 point. Big mature deer. That's good. You did drill him. Perfect shot. That's all I do is perfect shots. Huh. Unless I got my bow. <laughs> <laughs> We're shooting the Browning ammunition. I think that was 159 grain in a 300 short mag out of the Hills Canyon and it, whoo! It did the deal, didn't it? Yep. Congratulations, that's a good deer. Thank you. Thank you for all the work you do, Paul, mm -hmm. and feeding them, growing them. 
aging them, keeping Cole from coming in here and shooting them all. <laughs> uh, Cole's hunting not too far from here. Well, he's a little ways, but. It's about uh, four miles. Yeah, a little further than I thought. But uh, I'm hoping he's uh, either looking at one or about to be looking at one on the ground, too. And David, he slept in this morning, but you're able to sleep in when you filled your tag. Z. Yeah, <laughs> plural. When you uh, when you got 320 inches in the cooler, yes, you, you're able to chill out one morning. <laughs> well, we might go wake him up, show him a deer. We will wake him up. Come on, swan dive in the middle of that bed and wake him up.